I welcome you people to the very important concept that is what file system objects is. FSO. FSO stands for file system object. So this is used to support some text files, creation and editing of them. Okay. Modifications or else the things basically what we use uh, here will try to have a look in a simpler way on this uh, FSO's file system objects. Like I will show you like how to create a file using FSO text file, how to take the data into it. So all this kind of stuff, stuff we'll be seeing it, how to overwrite it and all these things we'll see it one by the one. Okay. So this is an external feature of your FS, um, I mean to say UFT here. Yeah. yeah. So let's start with FSO and it has a really very rich set of properties actually. Using this FSO, we can, as I said earlier, create it, modify it, and a lot of the things we can do it is uh, FSO. I have given you clear notes. Actually, we can download that in this session on the FSO complete notes. You'll get it along with the syntaxes. Even we'll see them in here class. Okay. So let's start with creating a text file using file system object FSO is a concept uh, and then this in the first in the very first slide we'll be letting you know how to create text file using FSO okay so for this we need to use FSO concept and please uh, have a look on the syntax and please do remember all the syntaxes that is very important actually okay so first of all, let us uh, mm, what you call finalize like where we want to create a text file. Let, a simple task, let me create a text file on my desktop. Okay, on my desktop, let me uh, create it as a FSO example one, FSO example one. So by using this name, I want to create a text file which is on my desktop file name let it let me write as a file name fso example one okay this is the file name so and where i want to create on my desktop as simple as that so let's try to write them so follow the syntaxes simple syntaxes we'll have a look on this So set FSO file system objects is equal to create object, create object and what type of object you want to create file system object. So scripting, scripting dot file system. Scripting dot file system object. I want to create clear. So now set. So you can take a variable. So I'm taking it as a file. Set file is equal to FSO dot. So what I need to do? I need to create a text files here. Folder or file. So I need to create a text file symbol. Create create text file and where you want to create on my desktop. So see this is the path. So I want to create that as FSO example one dot txt is the file what I want to create. Okay. And if you want to overwrite it, if already there, let's say that FSO example is already existing on your screen. Do you want to overwrite it? If yes, then write it as a true. If you don't want to overwrite it, so don't write it as a true, write it as a false. So it will not overwrite this if already existing on your screen, as simple as that. I mean to say on your desktop, I mean to say. So I have written it as a true. If it is already existing, it will overwrite that. So it is not existing, so obviously it will not wrote, overwrite it. So FSO example one very simple script right only two lines 
let me run it so first of all let me show you my desktop i have no file with fso example one on my screen you can have a look on this okay so now let me run the script So it has done successfully. So let me show my uh, FSO example one. It has created a text file. Obviously, it's empty. So it has created text file. Okay. So let me uh, go ahead and let's see a few more things like overwriting it. So we have already existing on a screen, right? So let me run once again. So I have given a true. So I'm, I'm asking you to overwrite it. So before do this, what I do is I am going to add uh, some information into it so that you can check that without it has been overwritten or not. First example. So first creating, we have done it. Now I'm trying to set the correct code on an insert node. Save low. It has done with that. So have episode example on the screen only one. I have not created the other one, only one for the one. Let me open it now. See here, the text is empty, means it has overwritten that. Yes, as simple as it. Now, let's see how it works if you run it as a false. It's not going to override it in this case. file already exists it's not going to overwrite it see
really not existing i already existed so that is what true and false of your fso file system object very simple so we have done how to create it and after that how to give permission to override it and next we'll be seeing like how to write the content into the file what we have created okay so that we'll see it in the next video